Back and forth affair with the four and 11 Giants. Wentz fakes to Scott. He's rolling. He's looking. Still rolling. Go to line! Go to line! Fires across the field, and it's caught for a touchdown. Josh Perkins! You, 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 you that boy fully fresh aka the general here reporting for duty man first before i get into this video i had grinded uh josh mccown up i gotta apologize um playing the whole second half when your hamstring is torn all the way off the bone i gotta get a dude credit man uh he didn't have a good first half anyway still gonna still gonna grind him up about that a little bit but i gotta give it to him man he knew that he couldn't come out that game. We didn't have another quarterback, so he had to play. And he did what he could, man. But now, let's get into this video, man. Let's get into this video, yo. First of all, I want to thank Matt Patricia and the Detroit Lions organization, man. Shout out to y'all, yo. Shout out to y'all because it was coming to the point where I wanted... um our defensive, um, our D-back coach fired, man. I wanted Corey Utland fired. I felt as though you don't develop players. Our secondary is bad. And it was time for him to go. But he get a promotion. Shout out to you, man. You know, I don't want to see nobody not be able to feed their family. I just don't want you here with our family. So peace out to you. But I don't understand the Lions organization. I don't understand where y'all think that that was a good hire. Because the secondary, our cornerbacks, have uh, particularly our cornerbacks, have been the weakest link of this defense since he's been here. The reason that our defense was elite is because of, um, because of the D-line. And some linebacker plays in, in, in years that um Jordan Howard played. I mean uh Jordan Hicks played. Um if y'all would have took Chris Wilson, that is the uh defensive line coach, then I'd have been like, oh alright, that's a good hire. But for y'all to go ahead and get dude, man, Corey Utland, that don't make any sense to me, man. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Think about it. Uh, even on the championship run, when, when when the defense was at their best, right? The reason that we won is everything but the cornerbacks. The Atlanta game, I give them props. They held down, but Julio was going crazy on us. Um, the last play of the game, he was overthrown, and he still, even if he wasn't overthrown, he still probably would have came down with the ball. Um... The NFC Championship against the Vikings, right? Now, the cornerbacks didn't play terrible, but our defensive line was getting so much pressure. Remember, Chris Long with the strip set. Chris Long hit the hit the arm of um, Case Keenum, and it was just a, a a fly a fly ball up there that Patrick Peterson picked off, right? So he doesn't. I feel as though good, uh, goodbye, good riddance. I feel as though he is not and he is not a good coach. Now, speaking of coaches, um it is very it, it, it's time. It's time to start filling these spots, filling these vacancies, man. Cuz we don't want to be the last one to go just just to just pick from the bottom or just guess whatever's left over. Digging in the trash can and whatever left over, that's what we eat. No. We're trying to have a four-course meal. So you got to go out. You got to find who you're going to get, man. Because we got vacancies open that need to be taken care of. OC. Now, um, now, uh, now that Utland's gone. See what I'm saying? So you have to get things in perspective. Now. And don't wait until every other team makes their move. 
And then we sitting there with our hands tied behind our back because we don't know what we're going to do. Uh, Trevor Williams, I think that was a good pick. I understand he got hurt, and you really don't want to bring hurt players on this team. But uh, I'm a Penn State fan. Anybody knows me know I'm a Penn State fan. So I watched dude all his career. He he had a good year. He had a good couple years with the Chargers. We all know what happened. He got hurt. Then he went to, um, I think he went to the Bucks. I'm not sure. But I know wherever he played this year, he was hurt. I think he played like three games. And, but I think it's a good, it's a good start. Getting Trevor Williams and getting rid of uh, Corey Utland, addition from by subtraction for, for, for me. I felt as though it made our corner, it made our cornerback room a little bit better. Now, I got to see what coach should they hire. You probably want to go with a coach that played the position. Probably one of our old corners. Um, I've been, I talked to my cousin. He said he thinks they should try Brian Dawkins. I think Brian Dawkins, if it's not a, um, if it's not a defensive, a defensive coach, uh, uh, if it's not a DC, I don't think he would do it. That would be a good hire though, because he's going to bring some tenacity and he's going to show dudes how to look for the ball. See, that's what we need. We need a technician. We need somebody that's going to teach these dudes how to be how to be sound when that ball's in the air. How to not panic when the ball's in the air. How to get your head around when the ball's in the air. That's been a problem for this team for the last couple of years. See what I'm saying? So we, whatever coach that we bring in, we got to make sure it's a coach that's going to teach these dudes all the intangibles. That's going to teach these dudes how to be sound and not panic. See what I'm saying? So that's what we need, man. Um... As far as the OC, Pat Shermer gone, as a couple of other dudes is gone. Um, they still talking about the dude from LSU. I can't remember his name, but he's not even an offensive coordinator there. He's some type of, I don't even know what he is. But these vacancies have to be filled, man. They got to be filled because, like I said, we don't be wanting to pick from the bottom, man. We don't be wanting to pick from the bottom, man. Um, got videos coming up. So you know I'm saying it's a lot to talk about in this off season, man. It's a whole lot to talk about. We're gonna get into some Carson. We're gonna get into some who would do should stay, what do should go. Got a lot to talk about, man. Just because it's the off season, I don't mean I'm gonna stop. Never gonna stop, man. I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep giving y'all how I feel. I'm gonna keep giving y'all what it is, man. I'm gonna keep giving y'all the real word. The, I'm gonna keep giving y'all the real. See what I'm saying? I, I I don't get on this camera and start faking it. I'm going to tell y'all how I feel. I ain't going to tell y'all what y'all think y'all might want to hear. See what I'm saying? So make sure, hit that like, man. Hit the subscribe. If you already subscribed, make sure you hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you know when I put a video up, man. I mean, uh, shout out to everybody that did subscribe, man. I'm getting more subscribers. I appreciate that. I got a lot that I got a lot that I want to do with this page. But I got to get my subscribers up. I ain't even going to lie to y'all, man. Uh, I want to push this page more so there's more things that I can do. Um, starting to collab with other dudes, man. Shout out uh, Gate City. Shout out Philly Mike. Shout out shout out a lot of dudes that's doing their thing, man. And uh, y'all know what it is, man. Videos, uh, video coming probably tomorrow, man. I got some things I want to talk about. Get off my chest. But y'all know what it is. Stay Philly. Stay fresh, yo.